Hi everyone, welcome back to the Casual Watch Review channel. I've got a very nostalgic video today. I received an email from Timex. Some of you might have got this and you might know what I'm talking about already. The email was about a new recycling program that Timex are releasing called Rewound. Anyone who lives in the US at the moment can send off their watch you fill out a form online, print off a postage label, and then you can send the watch to them. And it doesn't have to be a Timex watch according to the site. What they'll do then is refurbish the watch, and if they can sell them, they'll try and sell them. And then if they can't, they say that they're going to ground it down to make a new compound. So I'm wondering if this is like the bioceramic used on the moon swatches. Possibly, maybe they're turning it into some kind of material. To launch this, they listed pre-owned watches, or what they said were pre-owned watches, on their website and they were all Timex watches and I'm so glad I jumped on the email when I did because within 15 minutes of receiving this email all the watches had sold out. Thankfully I managed to get one and wow what a gem of a watch I managed to get. This may look like nothing special if you're not familiar with this particular Timex watch but this is probably one of the most influential Timex watches that was ever made. This one seems to be branded as Intel although they typically were branded as Microsoft. This is a data link watch, one of the few watches that was authorized by NASA for spaceflight. This only cost me $18. What I suspect is its new old stock. And it came in the box. The box wasn't in mint condition, but it certainly looked like it hadn't been opened more than a couple of times. There's some really cool things that came in the box, which we'll talk through during the review. I think you'll find this one really interesting, especially if you grew up in the 90s, a pre-era of smart watch each one was cooler than the previous one and it was a really exciting time to be into these digital watches we now have a smart watch where you just download the apps but back then if you needed a new feature on a watch you had to buy a new watch and this was one of the first watches that would wirelessly sync with a computer we're going to talk all about it i think you'll find this interesting so let's flip the camera around and dive into the review. Here is the late 90s nostalgia, and I'm absolutely amazed by this. It looks to be in almost new old stock condition. The band doesn't look to be worn at all. There's none of that skin cells or anything like that in there that you usually see on these Velcro straps. The Velcro also hasn't been well well used which is good a little bit of hazing on the plastic crystal but overall excellent condition the best thing about this other than the watch itself was the awesome box that it came in all the details on there 50 lap stopwatch memory 10 appointments phone number storage two time zones indigo nightlight this really was a very early smartwatch and we get a little indication there of how you sync this with a computer and what's even cooler in the box was it also comes with the original three and a half inch floppy disk there we have for windows 3.1 or 3.11 this one even goes up to windows 95 one of the things with this model was that you needed an old crt monitor in order to get it to work properly because it would flicker at a certain rate in order to transfer the data. The data would be transferred via this little sensor at the top would read the screen. I've reviewed a couple of these on the channel but this is the first time that I've seen this booklet. This looks like you plugged it into a notebook and that would transmit the data to the watch. I'm going to have to try and find one of these on eBay because this just looks far too cool not to include with the package. I'm amazed that all the original manuals look like they haven't really been read the floppy disk is still in the original packaging and sealed. The watch itself, very good condition, still works. I'll splice in a little footage of the Indigo backlight still going strong. We've still got it set to 1996. I suspect this is when they refurbished the watch. They replaced the battery and it just reset it back. These watches were from the late 90s, but this particular model must have been released in the around the year 2000 because is advertising the Intel Pentium 4 and that came out around about the year 2000. Usually these are co-branded as Microsoft so they were developed with Timex and Microsoft. One of the very few watches that NASA authorized to go into space and plenty of them did go into space. Here are some awesome images of astronauts wearing versions of this watch. It really was designed to have multiple alarms, chronograph, countdown timers to help 
astronauts also became a consumer product as well. There was a very amusing advert that they ran that showed how this works. A bit of proper 90s nostalgia there. The Pentium 4 came out in 2000, so maybe this watch is from around 2000. First time I've ever seen them co-branded. I'm not sure whether Intel gave the... They sold them like this, or maybe this was a corporate gift that Intel gave to the employees. If you know, let me know in the comments section down below. But I'm absolutely blown away by this Timex recycling website. This, I think it must be new old stock. If it's been worn, it's been very, very lightly worn. Excellent condition. Honestly, I was more excited opening this box and finding all the paperwork with than I've been when I've opened luxury boxes. I'm not sure if they were available in the UK. I'd never seen one when I was a teenager in the 90s, but this one certainly will be a keeper in the collection because I only paid $18 for it. $18, you can't go wrong for a new old stock. Some of them sell on eBay for $100 plus, but that's the ones that look like this, the normal ones. I've never seen one of these co-branded as Intel before. More importantly, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. As always, appreciate you watching. If you're interested in getting into the conversation live, join us over on the live streams. And I'll catch you next time on Casual Watch Reviews.